Second down and ten. This one off the hands of Rico Battle and picked up by Georgia going the other way. DeAndre Baker is gone. Touchdown. Gonna go with the jet sweep, the throw back to Stockton. He's thrown for a big loss and a flag down as well. DeAndre Baker was having none of that business from middle. And they will go. Stockton intercepted. Picked off by Baker. And he returns it out across midfield. making plays. Garantano going the other Again. way. Again. Incomplete. Knocked out of the hands of Wood Anderson. DeAndre Baker, one of the better corners around, made the play. It's pass, pass, and pass some more now for Bentley. This one to Donald, and he just got stood up and stoned right there before he could get to the first down marker. Little things that beat LSU. Burrow to the end zone, jump ball, knocked down. Yeah, there's that guy again. DeAndre Baker, the guy <laughs> Gary talked about in the open. Yeah, if you're, you're going at him, you better re run a great route with a perfect throw. Now, every, anybody's being capable of being beaten, but if you better do it at a high level. First and 10 at the 25, Auburn. Stidham will drop back to throw, fires for his target Slayton at the 40 on the near sideline, broken up by DeAndre Baker. Garantano, now there looks like there's some confusion again. Jawan Jennings, did he know where to go? Garantano trying to go right back to Josh Palmer, and it's incomplete. Anderson, they want to get him as many touches as possible, and he lost the ball. Coughs it up, recovered by LeCount, and Georgia's got the turnover. That was J.R. Reed who knocked it loose, and the second giveaway for the Blue Raiders. In big football games, it's not going to be easy to finish this game if you're LSU. Almost picked off over there, intended for Justin Jefferson. That's two straight passes that could have been interceptions for Georgia.